Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and iOS 16.3 is here, bringing a few new features and changes to iOS. Now in this video, we're gonna take a look at the settings of this update, what you need to change on your device right now in order to make sure that you get your best experience using your iPhone on iOS 16.3. Now, first of all, we're taking a look at a new setting that Apple has added on iOS 16.3. Of course, you don't really need to enable this, but you need to know what it does. And of course, if you need it, you can use it right away on iOS 16.3. Now, these are the new physical security keys that you can add to your Apple ID and basically have a really strong account security. And you can see right here, once you go to your settings, you go to the top of your settings at the Apple ID and you go to password and security, you will get security keys right here and you can tap here to add security keys. Now you can see right there, it says security keys, which means that you need to actually have two different security keys in order for this to work. So if you're planning to enable this feature and use physical security keys for your Apple ID, then you need to know that you actually have to have two of them in order for this to work. And right here, we'll see, basically it shows you all the explanations you need to know. And then you can go ahead and continue from here and add your security keys. New to iOS 16.3 are also the emergency and SOS settings. Now, right here, we have a few wording changes. Not much has changed, but you need to know what you're doing here. So you can see we have now call and withhold and release, and then we have call with five button presses. So you can choose here whichever of the settings you want. And you can also enable call quietly. So this has basically changed with iOS 16.3. The wording of it has changed. So go ahead and configure these settings because of course they're really, really important. Another setting that I suggest you should enable here is call after severe crash. You can do that from the same page here under emergency and SOS. You can see right here we have the button. It says if you're in a car crash, your iPhone will automatically call emergency services. That is really, really important. Of course, hopefully you will never need this feature, but just in case, make sure you have this enabled. Now with iOS 16.2, Apple has added the new advanced data protection feature. But now with iOS 16.3, this is a feature that you can use worldwide. Previously with 16.2, it was only in US. So you can enable it by going to your Apple ID, then go to iCloud. Here you have advanced data protection. What this will basically do is just encrypt all of your data, starting from backups, messages, notes, photos, and all that kind of stuff will be encrypted. You need to also make sure that you add the recovery key here or the recovery contact in order. You just have basically need to have access to your data because Apple won't be responsible for unlocking this data, basically decrypting your data. You will have to have the recovery contact and the recovery key as well, just in case you need them. Here's another setting that you will find under the same tab here under iCloud. You will have access to iCloud data on the web. Now this is a really good feature. If you enable this, then you can go ahead and just log in with your iCloud on the web, on the browser, and you will have access to all of your data. Right here it says access to your mail, contacts, calendar, photos, notes, basically everything that you have on your Apple ID, on your iCloud, you can have access to them on the web. Just go ahead, log in on the browser, and you will have all your stuff there. And right here under the Apple ID, if you go to password and security, you will find a really great feature, even though I believe it's not actually working as it should. In some cases it works, in a lot of cases it actually won't work. It is called automatic verification, so make sure you enable this and what it will do is that it will just do the verification for you. So when you're on the website or somewhere, you will see all kinds of different puzzles and different pictures that the website will show you, basically asking you to confirm that you're a human, this will bypass those and do that automatically for you. So again, you can enable it by going to your Apple ID on your settings, password and security, and right here you have automatic verification. On the settings app, head on to face ID and password and you will see here, allow access when locked. Now we have here two new additions with iOS 16. We have lock screen widgets and with 16.1, Apple has added, of course, live activities. Now make sure to take a look at these. And in my opinion, you should actually enable these, which then allows to have access to your live activities or your lock screen widgets just when the iPhone is unlocked. 
because if you have these disabled, someone can have access to them even though your device is locked. So it's a really good security feature that we have them here and make sure you go ahead and enable them immediately. Now, if you have one of the newer iPhones, the iPhone 14 Pro or the 14 Pro Max, I suggest you go to settings, go to display and brightness and go right here under always on display. Now we have a few new settings, which are basically not new with iOS 16.3, but have recently been added to iOS. And right here we have show wallpaper and show notifications. Now what these will do is actually just turn the screen dark, not leave the bolt wallpaper in the background when the always on display is enabled, but just have a dark screen, which actually will also help you save battery on your iPhone. So if you use the always on display, make sure you go ahead and enable this. It's really good. And of course it will help a lot battery wise. Now, whenever you use Siri on your iPhone, if you don't want to have spoken responses, now you will have an option here to go to Siri and search. And when you go to Siri responses, you can enable now prefer silent responses. Now, if you enable that, Siri will respond silently, except when you appear to be driving or using your headphones. So just on those cases, you will get a spoken response. Otherwise, you will get a silent response on the screen of your iPhone. Moving on under the accessibility settings, head on to the touch section and just swipe down and you will have here prevent locked and call. So you know on iOS, whenever you're on a phone call, if you press the side button here, it will actually lock the device, but also hang up the call. If you don't want that to happen anymore, you go ahead and enable this button. So whenever you press the side button, it won't actually hang up your call. Now, this is a really great feature here for iPhone users that have an iPhone with the always on display. It is called tap or swipe to wake. Again, you can find it under the accessibility settings, go to the touch section and enable it right here. Now, what you can do with this is simply tap on the screen or swipe while the iPhone is on the always on display and it will automatically unlock your device. You don't have to wake up the device first and then swipe up to actually unlock it. You can do it with just one gesture from the always on display, just swipe up and you're good to go. The device will be unlocked. Moving on under the app store settings, we have here some really useful settings. One of them is called in-app content. Now what in-app content will do when you install an app or a game or something like that, if that app or game needs extra files to be downloaded, that will actually happen automatically in the background. So you don't have to do that or wait for it to happen when you start using the app, which is really, really great. Another setting I suggest you turn on on iOS 16.3 is app updates, especially when you have installed a new update on your device, you need to also update the apps because most apps will get new updates, of course, when a new iOS version is out. So you want to make sure that you have your apps up to date. You don't want to bother doing that manually. You can just enable this feature right here and everything will be done automatically in the background. Not talking about updates, another thing you need to enable is right here. General software update automatic updates. If you don't want to automatically update your device, that's cool, but you have to enable this right here. Security responses and system files. As you probably know, Apple has tested security responses, which are basically some really, really small updates to fix security problems with iOS, which are not iOS updates. So when you get those, it won't update your iOS version. It will just install those files on your device. So make sure you have this enabled and everything will be done automatically. If you're using something like the TV app or any other sports app to basically track events or games or things like that, you have the option for more frequent updates. And you can find that by going into the app section right here on the settings app, go to live activities, and the app will have this option right here. So it says update rate, more frequent updates. So if you want to get more frequent updates, you can enable it here. It will actually have a bad impact on the battery life while it's enabled. But if you need to have those more frequent updates, you can go ahead and enable them here. And last but not least, a really helpful feature for the mail app, head on to settings, go to mail, swipe all the way down and you will have here undo send delay. 
this will just configure how much of a time you will have when you want to undo a sent email you send an email you want to undo that basically stop the email from being sent you will have here the time of how basically how much it will wait so i suggest use 30 seconds because you will have the most time to do that so that is it for this video guys these are 16 ios 16.3 settings that you should change immediately on your iphone thank you for watching the video don't forget to subscribe for more and i'll see you on the next one